So Ryan, what's your first step? What do you do when you sit down for school? Crossing it. It's like herding cats sometimes. He's using his hip effectively, Mom. I guess so. And everybody's grades were excellent. We're about ready to do a live. We go live on Fridays. Nux. Nux. everybody it is a rainy friday in florida the last day of the school week so it might be a little bit hard to get our kids motivated and up and at them i might need to wake them up they've been naturally waking them waking up themselves the past few days but today with the rain you know how it is when you hear the rain outside it just seems like it's much more cozy but we'll share with you what our routine looks like what their school looks like it's a little bit different i think than a lot of most other people who are doing their online schooling we have two high schoolers and a middle schooler so the high schoolers um schedule is a little bit different than the middle schooler and the way they access things a little bit but um, anyway, so we'll show that to you as soon as they wake up. In the meantime, there's Michael John over there. He's editing. Hi, Mike. Good morning. Yay. <laughs> guys are sitting down they just had breakfast no, and are yeah. wiggling into <laughs> this is how this is about when we get ready it's a little bit before 11 now we're a little later than we have been this week in getting ready for school and settling down for school <coughs> Katie generally sits here at least starts there right yeah then I move there <laughs> and then I move outside and then I come back in here and sit down there for a little bit <laughs> And then once the afternoon learning is normally out there. <laughs> Excellent. It's nice to be able to move because you're like moving classes. Yeah. Yeah. But like three feet away. Sure. I might be from here to there. Sometimes the couch and then back to you. I might group table, outside, that couch, and then either back here or finish on the couch. Mm-hmm. That's nice, getting to move around. That's definitely a benefit. So Ryan, what's your first step? What do you do when you sit down for school? Crossing it. Yes, that is true. But then, <laughs> I was trusting. Um, which I just look for an open computer because I didn't bring mine down first because I only thought we were coming for a week. So yeah, and my computer is like trash. But um, me and Brennan both thought about doing uh, schoolwork while we were down here for that week, but Ryan didn't, so. <laughs> so this morning right now, dad's computer is available. He's right. using my computer to edit, Katie's using her computer, and Brennan has his computer. So we'll set up dad's computer for you right now, Ryan, okay? Thank you. <laughs> All right, this is my agenda book for yesterday. Um, and I checked some things off, and now um, I'm gonna move over and put the things I didn't check off and then finish them, because it's Friday. And uh, three of my things are due on Friday. Some stuff is due on like Sunday, but I think I'm gonna get it done today, so I had the weekend. Yo. I normally start with like the easier ones, so like health or art, things like that. And then normally the ones like government, which is like my only AP class. That's what I'm working on now. So all I have left to do for this week is Gov and ASL. And I just have to like record a video for ASL, so. Yeah. All right, Brendan, how do you get ready for your school day? I go on Google Classroom and I look at my classes and there's like a to-do tab. So I look at all the things. I kind of decide like what I'm gonna do each day. Um, so like yesterday I did a little bit of statistics the day before I did physics, the day before I did um, world and uh, US history, the day before I did Lang, the day before I did sports med. So I kind of do like one or two classes a day and then uh, I'm done all the work for the week. Wow, you worked and ahead. It's Friday. 
Nux. Good job, I wish it wasn't raining outside though, so I could do some outside. I know. We did a lot of work outside yesterday. It was beautiful. One of the things that's a little bit challenging, but and was rough in the beginning to work through, but has actually proved to be not so bad, is that the classes aren't live. Like we don't have live teachers all the time. Um, actually, very few of the, the classes are like that. So basically they started out in the middle school doing A day, B day. So like one day, like A day would be these particular classes and B day would be these particular classes. That was kind of the first week. And then the second week, which is now, they, we're at the end of the second week now, they ended up just sort of like the teachers is giving um, assignments as needed. So generally what they're doing is the teachers are giving assignments on Mondays that like practice assignments and tutorials and uh, resources that, uh, that the, the kids can do till Wednesday. And then um, on Wednesday, they're generally giving, as far as I understand, they're giving the graded assignments that are due at the end of the week. It's due on Sunday, but we try to get them done on Friday, so we just have a regular school week. So it's, um, it's been a lot of independent learning um, Ryan did get on a Zoom yesterday with his math teacher, which was excellent. That was um, synchronous, so at the same time, and they were able, like, they did a quiz and everything on um, on the Zoom, which was good. But Katie and Brennan have had very few Zooms. It's more independent, like college type learning. So the good news is that this is the end of the second week, and the first week everybody went through and sort of got their feet you know, wet on doing it. And we checked the grades and everybody's grades were excellent the whole first week. So I think it's working. Like everybody think, got straight A's. Everybody got straight A's. It was awesome. And you got it going on now, right? Hey, thank you. Yeah. As long as you set yourself a schedule and you do that each time and you, you use your agenda book so you keep yourself organized. Uh -huh. What are you doing now, for example? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, since you were talking, and I can't walk from the top, I wonder if I can get on. He's using it so effectively, Mom. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, we're about 45 minutes in, and Katie's left the chat. She got a phone call. Dad's finishing up over there. Hi, Dad. Gotta watch this one, it's good. Okay, good. Funny. I laughed out loud. They all are, loud. Mike. Oh, you laughed out loud? Good. Yes. Love laughing out loud. That's where Ryan used to sit. I think he went to the little boys' room. He didn't ask for a hall pass or anything, but I think Katie, I think Katie's taking an early recess. Hi, oh, are you working in here? No, I'm not. Oh, what are you doing? I'm working. Oh, I thought you got a phone call. Well, I did. Oh, okay. But now I'm decide to move your working space. Okay, very good. Ryan is back at it. And I have to say this whole online learning thing has been so great. First of all, as a mom, I really enjoy having them home. I have to say it's um, just having them sequestered here and being able to um, just be a family and know what they're learning and incorporate learning at home into our regular daily schedule is has been amazing. And I was just recently introduced to a website called OutSchool. It is like beyond anything I can imagine. It's basically online learning um, for subjects that might be a little bit above and beyond what is offered at our regular school. So from an enriching perspective, our kids will have the opportunity to sign up for classes that they otherwise might not have access to. For example, Ryan is really interested in history and there is a class on there that is a virtual field trip to Gettysburg in Pennsylvania um, for to learn more about the Civil War. So that is totally right up Ryan's alley. So for him to be able to learn about the Civil War through vir virtual field trip is really very cool. And he learns about the Civil War at school, but this just takes it a little bit farther and delves in. They have photography classes. They have really creative classes like learning chemistry through Harry Potter or creative writing through Pokemon. So. It's worked really well for Brennan. Brennan took a psychology class or is, at, is taking a psychology class right now. There's over um, 15,000 classes available and there's over 77,000 five-star reviews for OutSchool. If you click the link down below in the description box, then you can um, you get to OutSchool and they'll know that we sent you. So take a peek and we're gonna talk to Brennan in a little bit about how his class, his psychology class is going. So they give us like 
about four weeks worth of assignments uh, at the same time and they do it like on a week schedule so you can pace yourself. And uh, I'm doing pretty well, this is pretty awesome. The teacher is very uh, interactive and I can literally do it wherever I want. Just as long as I have a computer, I can log on and, and do my work, it's awesome. That's really cool. One of the things that Brenda was saying the other day about this was, you know, you're 17 and you're taking this psychology class. She talks a lot about careers. Mm -hmm. Like, so, so it's not just a class just to learn information, but she's really like trying to prepare you for potentially what career you might. And that's also really interesting. Like, I want to learn about careers. They give like um, careers, famous psychologist thinkers, uh, psychology theories. So awesome yeah. class. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, enjoy it. All right, would you do another out school? For sure. Yeah, what do you think you want to do next? Mm, probably something history, really. maybe European history if they have it. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, Katie has now moved. She's now in a third spot. Hi, Kate. Watching a video, I think, for government. Is that right? Sorry. So this is realistically how it goes, people. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. There is nobody sitting at the table. Ryan just turned in a science project. He still has math, social studies, language arts, French, and PE left to do. Katie was over here. She now has taken another break. It's like herding cats sometimes. I don't know how to do this. What are you working on? Well, I made this thing, but I need to put over here, but I can't. So we can't figure out how to draw on a Google, a Google Doc. So all of you out there, if you know how to draw on a Google mm. Doc. Got it. You just figured it out? No. Oh, not how to draw. Oh, you got the picture. Mm -hmm. Let us know. And this is right about, it's about almost five o'clock, which is usually when dad pops popcorn. Dad, I say dad, I mean Mike. Pops, <laughs> yep. Why can't I open it? I don't know, but we're about ready to do a live. We go live on Fridays. It's called Happy Hour with the Donnellys, live at 5 o'clock Eastern time. So if you haven't participated yet in a happy hour live, please um, jump on. Hopefully you'll be on today. And we're doing it every Friday. And this is going to be, I think, our fifth one, Mike. Is that right? I think so. I think it's our fifth one. We've been doing it Fridays um, since we've been in quarantine. So um, that's been very fun and we're hoping to continue to do it even after we get let out <laughs> so we're gonna be do we're gonna be making churros today the Walt Disney World recipe for churros the Disney Parks blog has been um, releasing recipes each week and that is what we are making today again not typical because we didn't work out today and normally we do work out um, throughout the week but since it's raining it's been a little bit difficult <laughs> Is our game? How are we winning so? I, I just don't get it. Six, six. Are you for game and Katie and I lost? Ah! Katie and I won the first game against Brennan and Mike, and then we lost the second game against Brennan and Ryan, and then we lost a game against Brennan and Mike, and then we lost another game against Brennan and Mike. I know it was tough. It was tough. Wow. Anyway, so we're gonna wrap up our evening or wrap up our whole day. Actually, this was our school routine, which again is not such a typical school routine but sometimes people are working into the wee hours of the night. I'm very proud of you, your determination and persistence. What are you working on? Um, social studies. All right, oh, your favorite subject. Yeah. All right, do you wanna share what made you happy and then get back at it? What made me happy today? I have All to say, right. a lot of things made me happy today, but one thing specifically that was awesome and different than a lot of other days is the 
amazing amount of thunder and lightning that we had today. It rained it was all cool. day long, yes. And we had great thunderclaps. It was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. That was cool. Thunderclaps is a great word. It's not one word, is it, right? I don't know if it's one word. Thunderclaps? Probably not. It's probably two words. But that's a great. You like that word? Thunderclaps. That's... Claps of thunder. Thunderclaps. What made you happy today, babe? Um, what made me happy today was um, getting a lot of work done, plus uh, playing Brendan Madden. We still need a rubber match because he beat me, um, and then I beat him, you know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Wait, that's did it? you already show me again? I did. Sick. The Thunderclaps. Right. <laughs> Come with me. You guys have a day. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, Katie, what made you happy today, baby girl? What made me happy today? How about making the churros? You have, you made amazing oh, churros Oh, I forgot. Today. I did that today. I did make churros today. That was really good. That was good. All right, guys, comment below what made you guys happy. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.